Hello, and welcome to Teen Vitals presentation on overcoming barriers to vaccinate medically underserved communities. This presentation was created by three current NKU DNP students, Benjamin Boadu, Angela Spallinger, and Tashana Williams. Rural populations, immigrants, ESL populations, homeless communities, and communities of color experience different barriers for vaccination against COVID-19. When discussing which group our project would cover, we couldn't pick just one. All of these groups are underserved. A study conducted in Northern Kentucky demonstrated that people in rural communities did not believe that wearing a mask and social distancing was effective at slowing the rate of COVID-19. Over 50% of the people that they polled believed that side effects of the vaccine were worse than the virus itself. Barriers that rural populations face include lack of access, hesitancy to get the vaccine, and communication barriers. Immigrant communities fear having their information forwarded to immigration and deportation authorities and the impact it will have on their immigrant status. English as a second language communities often face not having translators available to fully explain the procedure, possible side effects, and answer any further questions they may have. People who are housing insecure have other basic needs that are a higher priority for them, including shelter, food, and clothing. Due to not having a designated home, they are often nomadic and even have even more limitations to accessing healthcare. Communities of color are one to 2.4 times more likely to die from COVID due to socioeconomic status, being considered an essential worker, and lack of access to care. Another common issue is the lack of trust among these racial groups in healthcare and government entities. With all of these things considered, how do we adequately address the needs of increasing COVID vaccination rates within these communities? One common barrier that we identified was communication and outreach. While social media is an effective outreach effort, there's still a significant disconnect with underserved communities. Some of the solutions that we've come up with include com community specific communication, accessibility, meeting them where they are and beyond and reciprocal understanding and education. Who are the key people in the community that community members trust? Sometimes it's organizations such as shelters, church, community centers and more. Partnering with trusted members within the community can help to gain their trust and build that lasting relationship. People are likely to listen to who, the people who look like them and ones that they feel they can trust. Have information tables and signups at places that they frequent, such as grocery stores, laundromats, libraries, and gas stations. Vaccine vans, church vaccine clinics, and clinics that have translators on site. I participated in the first and second dose vaccine clinic at my church in West Louisville, where we vaccinated 422 people who came back for their second shot. They came because they trusted what we were doing and asked questions and received answers from licensed medical professionals in real time. Re reciprocal understanding and education. Understand the community which you are trying to engage. Why do they have a mistrust of healthcare and government officials? Do not enter a community blindly without first understanding their unique cultural differences. Before you can teach them, you must first be willing to learn from them. Go straight to their neighborhood. Community canvassing is an effective way to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people of the community. This provides ample opportunity to address misinformation, understand their ideology, and lay the foundation to, to form partnerships with the community and target health disparities and equitable services. Because this approach is built on developing trust and communication, these communities are often forgotten about. This approach makes it a priority to hear the concerns of these communities and help meet their needs. Building a relationship with them beyond COVID-19 forces trust and respect among underserved communities and the medical community. Consistency and honesty are imperative. These are the faces of real lives lost. How many more can we prevent by making sure all of our communities are protected? Hope is not lost. The CDC has proposed the idea of vaccinating with confidence. We have to be clear, consistent, and honest with these communities in order to build and keep trust. Healthcare workers should feel confident and empowered in being vaccinated. We shall should engage communities and individuals by listening, learning, teaching, and collaborating together to build that trusting relationship. There isn't anyone in my life who I'm willing to lose. How about you? Let's be the difference that these communities need. Let's stay strong in the fight against COVID-19.